Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are informed to lesson 11, and the topic is crop production 2, and the subtopic is preparation and selection of planting material. On to the lesson objective. By the end of the, uh, the lesson, you will be able to, number one, explain the factors affecting rooting of cuttings, and number two, explain the factors to consider when selecting planting material. Uh, the terms used, we have cuttings uh, as uh, from the previous lesson. Uh, it was discussed that cuttings is one of the vegetative material which is used in uh, pla during plant regeneration, um, uh, crop uh, production. Then we have rooting. Uh, rooting is the process through which the cuttings are induced to produce the roots. And uh, we have IAA. Uh, this is the, the, the initials that stand for indole acetic acid. And this is a hormone which is used to stimulate cell division so that uh, root uh, may be produced from the uh, cuttings, uh, from the size of the cuttings. Then we have uh, seed selection. And therefore, we have uh, several factors to consider when it comes to seed selection. And se seed selection simply means se uh, choosing the, of the seed that are supposed to, to be used uh, e during planting uh, exercise. Uh, we have factors affecting rooting of uh, cuttings. The first one, we have warm temperature. Actually, warm temperature normally facilitate or effect the process of rooting and therefore rooting does well between the temperature of 22 to 27 during the day and also 15 to 21 during uh, the night. Then we have high humidity. Uh, at high humidity, it will lower the rate of transpiration and therefore facilitating uh, rooting uh, process. Then we have uh, another factor is light intensity. Uh, high light intensity is required to those cuttings which are soft. Uh, so that they can uh, be in a process of carrying out uh, photosynthesis with the few leaves which are left on the soft cuttings as opposed to the hard uh, cuttings. The hard cuttings are not supposed to be exposed to much light intensity because they have uh, stored uh, food in form of starch in their tissues. Then we have oxygen supply. Remember, uh, for uh, rooting process to take place, respiration must be effected to provide the energy which is required for uh, root uh, growth. And therefore, respiration is the one which will require the oxygen, aerobic respiration, and therefore uh, increase in oxygen concentration increases the rate of uh, respiration uh, yielding the energy which is required for uh, growth of roots. Then we have chemical uh, treatment. Uh, uh, some of the cuttings require to be uh, inserted in chemicals uh, so that they can uh, be induced to carry out cell division so that uh, roots uh, may be uh, developed uh, from the cuttings. And some of the chemicals include the IAA, which is a, 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 a hormone, a, a, a hormone that leads to uh, st stimulation of development of the roots. Then we have leaf area, that is the surface area. Uh, whenever you're using a soft wood cuttings, uh, you should make sure that uh, there are several leaves uh, that are intact uh, in, in the cuttings. Why? Because uh, the leaf will pr uh, absorb the light uh, uh, from the sun, the, the, and therefore that light is used during the process of photosynthesis, and thus encouraging the process of photosynthesis to take place so that uh, the cuttings can have uh, food which is used during the process of respiration. Then we have hard uh, wood cuttings. Uh, you don't have to leave a lot of uh, leaf, uh, leaves uh, because they have stored food in form of starch within the uh, tissue. Uh, away from that, we can look on factors to consider when selecting planting material, one of the factors is suitability to the ecological uh, condition. For example, hybrid uh, 622 maize vari variety and uh, 513 maize variety and katumani, they are, they are suitable 
stable for different ecological conditions. For example, in the highlands, in the highlands where we have a lot of rain, uh, we can use the first, uh, the, the, the first breed, that is a hybrid 622 maize variety. In medium altitude, we use uh, 513 uh, maize variety. And in the low latitude, for example, in Mombasa, we can use the Katumani composite. Then we have uh, number two, the factor to consider, we have the purity of the material. Uh, whenever you are selecting the planting material, you should select the material which are free from pests and diseases. And also, they should be free from weed. Uh, then number three, we have germination percentage or germination potential. The seeds which are meant for uh, uh, planting should have a 100% germination potential, meaning that in every 10 seeds that you grow, all of them should germinate. Then number four, we have certified seed. Uh, remember, whenever you are preparing your land, uh, you should obtain the seed from the Kenya Seed Company because they normally sell the seeds which are certified Certified. Uh, they are certified and proven to be having 100% germination potential and also they are free from uh, pests and diseases. Then we have uh, come to the end of today's lesson and I will leave you as, uh, qu some questions to act as a form of assignment. Uh, the first question will be state any four factors that uh, affect rooting of cuttings and the second uh, question is state any four factors that must be considered when selecting planting material. And for reference, uh, you can use, uh, refer from the Secondary Agriculture Student Book 2 uh, that is written by the Kenya Literature Bureau. Then for more information, uh, if you want uh, for more information, if you want to clarify something uh, from us, you can reach us through the following addresses. The first one is through SMS, through the number which is well displayed for you there. Then the second one, you can reach us on YouTube uh, at Elimu TV and also at uh, Facebook platform at Elimu TV. And finally, you can use the Twitter. You can tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Ke. Thank you for joining me in my lesson. Uh, till next lesson, have wonderful time.